This video will introduce convenient functions that make Mitsubishi Electric FA equipment products easy to use. A quick introduction about the convenient points of offline monitoring. By using the functions of Mitsubishi Electric's camera recorder units, you can use the offline monitor function of GXWorks 3 to perform root cause analysis after an equipment problem had occurred. Using the occurrence of a problem in this equipment configuration as an example, let's look at how to use GXWorks 3. After a problem occurs, read the recording file stored on the SD memory card of the camera recorder unit to the PC. Select Read Recording File from Recording Menu. After connection is successful, a list of recording files will be shown. Place a check next to the newest recording file and select Read into PC. Next, select Recording File in Start Offline Monitoring in the Recording menu and specify the file to be read into the PC to start offline monitoring. You can use the seat bar shown in Offline Monitor to check the program status before and after the problem had occurred. The recording file shown in this video was recorded with N70, the general device abnormality error, set as the safe trigger and recording 20 seconds before and 5 seconds after the trigger. Let's search for the cause of M70 becoming on. Select the ladder circuit where M70 is on and display the waveform. The GX Log Viewer Waveform Display software will be started, and you can see that the 40 product arrival label becoming on is the cause of the abnormality. Next, right click on the 40 product arrival label in the ladder circuit and select Data Flow Analysis. With Data Flow Analysis, since you can visually check the relationships of subject labels and devices, you can estimate the affected location. You can see that what is affecting the faulty product arrival label is the faulty product passage flag and workpiece arrival labels. To go back further, double click the faulty product passage flag to jump to the ladder circuit of the course location. You can see that the comparison calculations of workpiece actual height value and faulty product detection threshold is the cause of faulty product passage flag becoming on. Drag to enclose workpiece actual height value and faulty product detection threshold to show the waveforms. By superimposing the two waveforms shown in GX Log Viewer, it's easy to see that workpiece actual height value exceeds faulty product detection threshold. Let's mark the cause location using the log marker function of GX Log Viewer. This marking is also automatically reflected in GX Works 3. Since the equipment status images taken by the network camera are also stored in the camera recorder unit, let's start the GX Video Viewer video playback software from GXWorks 3 and check the video data. By performing read log marker from GXWorks 3 in GX Video Viewer, the mark we just made will be displayed on the timeline. By moving the cursor to that point, we can see the image of the faulty product. By using a GOT offline monitor, the GOT screen can also be linked. You can check GOT operation and waveform or program relationships, making it possible to also identify problems that occurred, for example, due to GOT operation mistakes. Using offline monitor in this way makes post-occurrence problem cost analysis, which used to be difficult to perform, easy. Please be sure to use it.